faith online. We are doing a live streaming broadcast, although we haven't advertised it at this time, so we don't have anyone watching us live. We are recording this to upload to YouTube and other video sites, so when you do get a chance to listen, I want you to know that God loves you. Whatever time it is that this broadcast gets to you, it's God's time. Amen? God's time. He wants us to know that His timing is right now. He has every intention of fulfilling His plan and His will for your life right where you are. We sit around and say we're waiting on God, but many times He's waiting on us. He's waiting on you to believe, to grab a hold of what He's already given you, to, make, uh, to take action, to make an effort, to go forth and do what He said do. He said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel, making disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Those that believe and are baptized be saved. Those that believe not be damned. And these signs will follow them that believe. They'll cast out devils. They'll speak with new tongues. If they, they can take up serpents. If they drink any deadly thing, it'll be by, and it, it will by no means hurt them. Of course, I'm quoting all of that, paraphrasing it, and putting it all together, but it's the truth. God expects us to do something, to go forth and to be who he's called us to be. And the only way we're going to do that is with the power of the Holy Spirit in our life. And that's what this broadcast is all about. That's what this church is all about. That's what the calling of God in my life is about. It's about declaring that Jesus Christ is Lord and the Holy Spirit is has given us power to be His witnesses. God's called me to preach the gospel. He's called me to motivate the body of Christ to be the body, to be the church that He's called us to be. And so that's what I want to do. And one of the things that He's asked me to do is to preach uh, right here in Guthrie, Oklahoma, to an empty building, to a camera, and let you know that God loves you. So I don't understand all the reasons that God has me do these things, but I do know that when we obey Him, there is a blessing in it. And I'm going to obey God. I'm going to do what He's asked me to do, and guess what? I'm going to do it willingly. I'm going to put a smile on my face, and I'm going to come down here every day. I'm going to preach to a camera, and God is going to bless it because that's who He is. He is a blesser. He loves to bless His people. And you know, a lot of times when we're searching for God and we're searching for answers and we're wanting His blessings in our life, we want the whole enchilada. We want the whole picture from beginning to end. See, God is the Alpha and the Omega. He knows the end from the beginning. So we're like, okay, God, let me know. You know, let me in on this secret. <laughs> and God just kind of looks at us and says, you know, son, if you knew what I know, <laughs> it'd destroy you. Mm. That's just it. You know, if we knew what God knew, if we understood everything about our life from beginning to end, we probably wouldn't go down many of the roads that God is calling us to go down because we'd find an easier way. We'd find a shorter distance. But I found in my life that every time God takes us down a different path, it's not because the answer was no for what we what we're desiring. But the thing is, if you want to get to the destination, there's some things you're going to have to learn. And sometimes the only way we learn is to experience certain things in our life. The Bible tells us that Jesus learned obedience through the things that he suffered. And I'm not going to tell you that God's called us to a life of suffering like some people consider suffering. I don't believe God brings car accidents into our life and sickness and disease and, and, and things that will destroy us in order to teach us. But he does use our life situations and many times um, decisions in order to develop character in our life. 
And so uh, sometimes you may not be where you want to be, but if you're not where you used to be and you're on the road to where you're supposed to be, then you're in a good place. Because along the way, the journey to that destination is just as sovereign as the destination itself. God's given you a journey in your life to go down, and each day we need to be seeking God for his direction and his guidance and understand that he's going to provide for us day by day. And along the way, if we'll receive that, we'll have the whole enchilada. We'll have the whole picture. We'll understand the entire calling, but we're not going to get it all at once because if we got it all at once, we wouldn't be able to handle it most of the time. I know God speaks to everybody differently, and uh, not everyone, but uh, he speaks in different ways, and sometimes he uses different ways to speak with different people, and some people seem to hear more clearly in a particular way than others. For instance, some people may see visions often, and that's how God uses to lead and guide and direct them. Some people have a lot of dreams. Some people hear the voice of the Holy Spirit often. Some people have an, just an inward witness and a knowing as to what God wants them to do. But all of us hear from the Lord, and all of those things are available to all of us. But God uses our personalities. He uses our walk with him. He uses things that we need to learn and understand more about. And sometimes, and most of the time, he uses things that are outside of our comfort zone because he wants to stretch us and develop character in us. He doesn't want us just to get by in life, but he wants us to succeed, and he wants us to know how to continuously succeed and, and learn the different facets of God, of who he is and how he moves in the earth. So today I want to read a scripture to you found in the book of Matthew, and this is actually the Lord's Prayer. And you may wonder what in the world this has to do with the Holy Spirit and knowing the Holy Spirit and being led to the Holy Spirit and all those things. But I'm going to show you how important it is to understand how Jesus has taught us how to pray to the Father and um, the things that we're to ask for, and and we should understand that if Jesus is uh, explaining to us a prayer, that prayer is designed to be answered. So let's look here in Matthew chapter 6, starting in verse 9. It says, After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now for today, what I want us to focus on is what when after Jesus says to hallow the name of God, to... Um, Ask for his kingdom to come to this earth and his will to be done. Then he says, give us this day our daily bread. And I don't know if you can see it or not because the camera, this camera is, you know, quite a far, uh, has quite a wide angle lens. And this, is, it probably just looks like a green loaf. But this is actually a loaf of bread with green uh, cellophane on it. And, you know, we need to be asking the Lord for our daily bread. And many times we want the whole loaf. We want the whole picture. As I have already said, we're looking for the big whole enchilada. And we really need today's bread. Uh, the Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And so we ought to be looking for God's word for today. What is God saying today? How is the Holy Spirit speaking to me today? What are his instructions for me today? What is my daily bread? And when we receive that daily bread, then we need to live on that bread for that day, 
with the understanding that when we do that, tomorrow there's going to be more bread. And each day God wants to bring us fresh bread. And he will if we ask him to do that. Because Jesus told us this is how we ought to pray. And Jesus is going to lead us according to the word of God and the will of God. And so we can be sure that if this is a prayer that is instructed by Jesus Christ, that it's a prayer that God desires to answer. So I want to encourage you today. If you're struggling with the the will of God for your life, if you're struggling with a calling, or maybe you feel like you know the calling that God has given you, but you're just in a position where it doesn't seem to be coming to pass, my advice, and really what I would encourage you to do, is go before the Lord this day and just ask Him for His daily bread. As a matter of fact, I just want to pray with you before we close and... and, um, Ask for that very thing. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity today. I thank you for all of the viewers that are uh, looking at this, wherever they may be, in their homes or at another place, Lord. And I just ask you right now to provide for each one their daily bread. Lord, I ask that you speak to each and every person in their heart, that they might know what it is you would have for them today, what you'd have them do, and how to do that, Lord God. And so, Father, I thank you for instruction, for direction. I thank you for your word being manifest in the lives of those who are seeking you now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you once again for listening today. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, Please communicate with us if this is a a blessing to you. You can leave a comment in the comments if you're on YouTube or another video channel. Also, if you'll go to our website, it should be in the description of this video. It's www.guthriechurchoffaith.org. And uh, on our homepage, you'll see My email address, which is pastorzanstra at gmail.com. Our phone number is on there. Give us a call. Send us an email. Come by and see us. We would just love to hear from you. Uh, If you would like to give a donation to our church, there's also a donations page where you're able to do that as well. Please pray for us that God's will be done here in Guthrie, Oklahoma. We're believing for an awesome move of God's spirit right here in Guthrie and also around the world. God bless.